So you want to build yourself a creator PC. Creative PC, you are a person who likes video editing, photo editing, maybe some other creative tasks. And you're looking around and you've maybe seen some videos online and uh, I hope you haven't watched them. So I've seen quite a few videos online, people recommending like around thousand dollar or less creator PCs for video editing, for maybe some other creative tasks and so on. So in this video, I'd like to make my own version of this because it's kind of upset me a little bit to see some of these videos online. I'm seeing a lot of random stuff being suggested and I, I wouldn't want you to make that mistake. And if you are, especially on a tight budget, I want you to get the best bank for box system for your workflow, for your, you know, what you're doing. So in this video, we're going to be showing you exactly that. Motion VFX has an impressive portfolio of plugins for Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve that will elevate your video editing process. One of the favorite is M Music Video, a complete music video toolbox. Speed up your music video editing workflow and stylize them to match the story, effects, overlays, camera movements, transitions, subtitles, typography, and more. Motion VFX has detailed tutorials to ensure the ease of use of any of their plugins. And yes, it does work on Apple M1 Silicon as well. Use the code TN20 to get a 20% off. Check it out in the video description below. So we're gonna jump into those specs in a moment, but very importantly, you might be saying, look, I don't have a thousand dollars. And look, I understand. What can you do then? Basically, if you don't have that budget, Anything less than that, if you try to build a BC, is really a kind of waste of time or waste of money at this point, because if you just want the best bang for buck, create a PC like in terms of performance, then it's best going with Apple M1 Mac Mini. As you can see over here, the M1 Mac Mini costs $650 and it's really good. I had it in, in the studio last year. Uh, or was it the year before? I tested it and it's actually pretty good. And if you want to do 4K editing, 1080p editing, it's absolutely amazing. The only downside is there's 256 gigabytes of RAM. So you might want to update or kind of upgrade that to 512, but you're going to spend the extra $200 for that. That's insane. So I'd rather get like an external SSD or something like that to do that. It's much cheaper way. But if you look around, I'm going to leave the links for these in the description below, all that I'm talking about over here. You can find renewed M1 chip Mac minis over there and look at that. That's 550. That's insane price. And there's no way you can build a PC for that price. It's just the best what you can get. But if you don't have a monitor, if you don't have a setup already, like let's say you just want to get started, you like zero, you know, there's, there's no keyboards, no nothing like get for you, then I highly recommend you check out the MacBook Air M1 from Apple because it's basically, you get a keyboard, you get the portability, you get the screen, you can do all of these things in there and it's very, very powerful. It's very, very snappy. It's just really, really good. There is no PC that you can build really for that type of thing. I'm going to show you in a moment, like a thousand dollar PC that's going to absolutely wipe this in a moment. But if you're just on a budget and you can't get the thousand dollar or you can't reach it, then this is the best option for you. Just let me just underline that. As you can see, this renewed $864, absolute bargain. And usually it's roughly around 950. As you can see over here, I'm gonna leave the links in the description below if you wanna pick any of those up. By the way, if you wait till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you an extra tip, what I've just recently found out. If you are an Adobe user, how you can save even more on this PC. So then I have actually tested quite a lot of these components out myself and I have these in the studio. So I'm not just recommending something just, you know, from the air. I've tested these, loads of research, so you know, you can find the reviews on the channel, basically. The CPU we're gonna be using is the i5-12400, and this is the best six core CPU in the world, and it beats out in some of the Ryzen eight core chips, or especially when you compare it to the 11th gen Intel chips, it's just absolutely amazing. Check out my review on this on the channel. It's just, just a fantastic chip. It costs around $209, but if you look around a little bit of different shops, if you click on my links, it like gives you an option like different shops, then I highly recommend recommend you click on all of them to see where is it cheaper. Is it cheaper on Newegg, Amazon, Best Buy, B&H, somewhere. Just check on all of these because I've seen this go less than $200 and that is a killer thing. The biggest thing I can see people make a mistake over here, which really, really upsets me, is going with an F variant of this chip. The F variant means that you don't have an iGPU inside there, which makes a huge difference for you as a video editor. The iGPU has killer encoders and decoders inside that help you play back smooth footage on the timeline, even if you don't have a very powerful GPU. 
or dedicated GPU. So please, I've seen too many people make this mistake. Oh, I've made, I've bought this, you know, 12400F CPU. Is it any good? I'm like, oh, why would you do that? You, you get a 12400F, it's not that much cheaper. It just doesn't make any sense. As you can see, this 12400F goes for $205. So for extra five quid or five dollars, you get a GPU. Like this is the best deal on a GPU ever. And how much is the difference? The difference can be up to 40% in performance in terms of video editing performance, live playback. It's absolutely insane how much of a difference this can make. Next off, motherboard. Which motherboard should you choose for? I've got a few motherboards on my channel that I have made reviews about. What we want to go for is DDR4 and 12th gen motherboard. There's Asus Prime B660 plus D4, that means it's DDR4, it's got plenty of connectivity, look at that, four sticks of RAM so you can upgrade your RAM, you've got uh, quite a few fast USB connectivity ports and so on. You even have 2.5 gigabit LAN if you want to run NAS in the future. This is going to last you for a lot of years. It's got Thunderbolt 4 header support so you can actually up upgrade to that as well. It's got three M.2 slots on the motherboard. One of them PCI 4.0 so you can actually upgrade to that $140 it's insane price for a motherboard with th these specs. It's absolutely amazing. Now, if you look around a little bit, you can get a B660, some of them cheaper as well, but you start to lose a lot of features, a lot of things. So I highly recommend you go with this motherboard over here. Uh, underneath the top PCIe slot over here, you can add a Wi-Fi card just over there, and then you get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5 connectivity built in as well. So you can, you can upgrade to that. So I think you should really go with this motherboard. This motherboard really is gonna help you and take you to a long way and gives you a lot of upgrade path what you want to go for. In terms of case I would recommend the Fantex P400 case over here. Now you get I think two fans included over here and and this is like a very good high quality case that like lets you all these components run inside. Quite a decent airflow, not too like bad but still could be better but for $74 hard to beat. Now if you want to exchange like for more fans and maybe lower quality case, then I have found this option over here, $59, so $60 basically over here, and you can get three fans included with this one. Two in the front, one in the back. That's really going to help you with the airflow of your system. And to be honest, it doesn't look that bad either. So if you want to save extra $15, there we go. Next of all, the RAM. How much RAM should you be getting? We're going to be going with DDR4. And this one over here is Deep Group Tifos Zeus. Zeus, 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 I've got it over there. These guys over here, and these go for $103. You can, maybe you can find it even cheaper somewhere else, but they're quite a decent speed of DDR4 and very, very cheap. Now, I've seen a lot of people recommend like maybe 16 gigabytes of video editing performance. And when you get 16 gigabytes and you want to do video editing, and let's say you do more than just slicing a video up and putting it together, and maybe you have a few layers, maybe you're wedding, wedding, you want to get into wedding or something like that you uh, want to do some client work or do some videos for a church you do something like that you know event video or something like that then 16 gigabytes is gonna be like the first bottleneck in your system I'm opening Premiere Pro like opening my project and I can instantly see about like 28 gigabytes of RAM used and that's without any multitasking if you want to have like your browser open on the side it's just gonna be a bottleneck in there so having 32 gigabytes gives you a little bit more like breathing room and you can have a bit more than just one window open on your computer and it's really going to benefit for you even in export times, timeline performance because when you're scrubbing through you need a lot of RAM there as well. Definitely go with 32 gigabytes. Now if you are in a very tight budget and you're thinking look I really I can't I just need it to be $50 cheaper then you can go for 16 gigabytes of this exactly the same thing. I'm going to leave it in the description below but please if you can try to upgrade it to 32 gigabytes you're gonna thank me later because it's just a better option you're gonna have a better time it's just a very big upgrade for not a lot of money if that makes sense power supplies here's what I found EVJ 700 watt 80 plus bronze semi-modular power supply it's even semi-modular okay and EVJ is a very good brand as well 42 
dollars. It's insane price for this. I don't know how many there is left over here. It says one left in stock. Hopefully there's more, but I'm going to leave this in the description below as well if you want to pick, pick this up. But this is an insane deal. Now, I'm going to leave a few different options if these go out of stock. By the way, let me know if anything is out of stock because I will update the links, but it, they should be updating themselves anyway. But this one over here, Asus Tooth Gaming 55 watt is still plenty for what we're going to be putting in the system. Absolutely fine over here. And as you can see, $39 even a little bit cheaper so you can get you know save a few uh, quid over there as well another one I found over here this is probably the best deal over here 500 watt 80 plus prunes EVJ one over here $30 over here at the moment uh, in stock this looks like it's all green just go for it and buy it look even 61 watt is a uh, $35 over here look this is very very cheap highly recommend these things I'm gonna leave them all links in the description below now the GPU and this is where I've seen a lot of bad recommendations online now in a way if you want to get going with this PC and you don't have money for this part of the section the GPU then just get the PC build it without the GPU and because of the iGPU inside you can actually do some video editing as long as it's just like you know cutting the video putting it together it's no problem if you start adding a lot of effects and color grading and things like that then the graphics power needs to come from somewhere and the iGPU doesn't quite have that graphics power feel free to check out my just iGPU performance um, video on my channel to see like how well you can do that but there is no point really buying like a very low end graphics card anything less than what I'm recommending over here you're gonna get ripped off much more than spending a little bit more because the lower end cards I, it's just sad for me to see people just spending that much on those cards because they're not worth it and that the performance is just it's just not there so you could go with some of the AMD graphics cards but I highly recommend you do a little bit of research I think you will have time especially with this price point to look around a little bit to nail one of these GPUs and you will be very happy especially this combo over here this new egg combo over here as you can see we're gonna get an RTX 3050 with 8 gigabytes of RAM there's gonna be a lot of tutor codes over there you're gonna have a great time at 4k editing over here if you're gonna build this PC over here the full price is gonna be $1,044 you can chip it down a little bit if you go with a different case um, you know as I showed you before and if you look around at some of the other deals you can get it even less than a thousand dollars and this will absolutely wipe M1 Mac you know performance out of the window because just it's so much more CPU power and so much more GPU power but we're not just gonna get the RTX 3050, we're also gonna be getting an MSI Spatium 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD. Now this SSD is super, super, super fast. This is PCIe 4.0 speeds drive and you can reach speeds like up to 4.5 gigabytes per second. So this is where your operating systems are gonna run and because of this combo deal, you're gonna get it very, very cheap. And I'd highly recommend you check this one out. If you wanna buy those cards separately, the cards separately are gonna go roughly around $500 or something like that, but you should be able to get it around 450. Now, if you pay a lot more than $500, I wouldn't buy it over there because you're gonna reach like already RTX 3060 territory or somewhere around there. So I wouldn't buy this, but this card, it's the best like what you can go for at the moment. And this price point over here should get you roughly around $1,044, something around. That's what I've calculated over here. For $175 plus $569 on Amazon. Depends if you go even cheaper power supply over there, you get it even less. And if you go 16 gigs of RAM, it's going to be less than, um, you know, $1,000. If you're thinking about going with anything less or Ryzen system or Intel 11th gen, you think, oh, but this is so much cheaper. You're going to lose so much performance. And I think just please get the M1 Mac mini or the MacBook Air because they are going to be much better performance for that. The only reason if you want to go with PC is like if you want to get a little bit of an upgrade path and you want to like save some of the parts and you know use them upgrade like in the future. But for that kind of price for your upgrade in the future, there isn't like tons you'd really want to carry over. So it just doesn't make sense for me. So in my opinion, I think around $1,000 is this system over here, what you can build and it's going to be awesome at 4K video editing, 
no problem at all. If you want to do any photo editing or anything else, it's going to be amazing. What about After Effects? Yeah, fine. DaVinci Resolve, absolutely amazing as well. Now, I told you that there's a tip how you can save even more if you want to edit in Premiere Pro, for example, or you're a Creative Cloud person. And you might be wondering, why do I have this ASUS card over here? As you can see, this is an RTX 3050 from ASUS. And when you buy this card, ASUS card, or in fact, any ASUS graphics card, you're gonna get one month for free on Adobe Creative Cloud. So if you're shopping around, I highly recommend you check out some of the ASUS cards, any graphics card you're gonna go for, you should be getting one month for free Creative Cloud membership, which actually, you know, reduces the cost for this if you're already paying for Adobe Creative Cloud. Also, if you want to buy any of the pro art things, then you're going to get three months for free. For that reason, depends what your budget, you might want to go with the B660 Creative motherboard and depending on which deal you are on on the Adobe Creative Cloud, but you could get this motherboard for very, very cheap if you reduce the cost of the creative cloud that you would have to pay anyway you can kind of redeem the free membership thing so i'd, I'd recommend you check out the review or this motherboard i'm going to leave this in, linked in the description as well the other thing i want to mention to you is if you're looking for an ssd and maybe you don't want to get the combo you know together that i showed you the msi one with the msi a 500 gigabyte you know ssd then i'd highly recommend you check out this drive western digital sn 570 SSD because if you're gonna get this SSD let's say you want this at 500 gigabytes over here look at this even if you want to buy this as like your project drive or like the secondary drive you want to get this for maybe one terabyte or other drives it is quite fast speed at up to 3.5 gigabytes in speeds but the thing is you are actually gonna get one month for free Adobe Creative Cloud membership when you get this one as well as you can see because if you do buy this like over here and you pay monthly look you could get like this ssd for almost for nothing really which is absolutely amazing especially if you go with the 250 gigabytes version but look at this the 250 gigabytes if you pay extra what eight dollars you get double the amount or seven dollars you get double the capacity so i'd highly recommend you check out this drive as well just like kind of some things for you to think about when building this system one last thing you might have thought is what about the cooling of this system like do, do you how do you cool down you know the the cpu that's the good thing about this the cpu actually comes with a cooler and it's a half decent you know not too bad but it could be upgraded if you wanted to but if you're really really on a budget you know just go with this one if you want to upgrade this cooler to something then what i would recommend is this Vetro V5 uh, cooler, you can either go white or there's black versions available as well. You should be getting this roughly around $30. If it's more than $30, I wouldn't really go for that. Or ID cooling, look, there's loads of budget coolers that you could go for this um, CPU over there and then you get very decent cooling or just a little bit quieter. So then, in conclusion, if you have $1,000, then this is the PC I would go for. I wouldn't go for any other GPU, I wouldn't go for any other components, but these are the ones that I think you're gonna get the best bang for buck. If your budget is less, I think you're really gonna be looking at like Mac Mini or MacBook Air or something like that to really get you going. But you might be saying, how do you know how to put it all together? Well, I have not just the video how to put the parts together because people are saying what do you do afterwards like you know how do you install the windows drivers how do i know all this stuff i have a full an hour long guide how you can build a pc put everything together show you which ports to use blah 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 follow this literally build your pc boom put it in no problem and then secondly i've got another over an hour long video loads of different ones actually so you know how to do the software side after you have built the pc as well so how to do the windows drivers bios everything's up to date and everything so you can get it up and running so all of these you can find on the channel and you can do this okay my friends i'd love to know what you think in the comment section below everything i've talked about linked in the description if you want to pick any of those up thanks guys for watching as always i'll see you soon bye bye